Today I want to show you this circuit which is a DC to DC voltage doubler. This is the circuit. Here we connect a voltage source and at the output we will have double that voltage minus some losses from the diodes and transistors. How it works? This part at the left is an oscillator based on the 555 chip and it will produce a train of pulses so at this point at the base of the transistors we will have a square wave like this okay so here we have an NPN transistor and this is a PNP when the pulse is at its low here the NPN transistor does not conduct but the PNP transistor conducts the electricity so the current from the source comes here and charges the first capacitor then the train goes to the high voltage part of the pulse and the PNP transistor does not conduct but the NPN conducts now this capacitor cannot discharge because it is blocked it is blocked by this diode now the current can flow here through the NPN transistor and from this capacitor and charging the last capacitor but as you can see these two capacitors are in series so this capacitor charges with the voltage of the source plus the voltage of C4 so here we will have double the voltage that we apply at the input the circuit can be easily mounted on breadboard at the end of the video I will give you the diagram and the bill of materials and also some zoom images in case you want to replicate the circuit let's test the circuit I'm going to feed it with my variable power supply so that we can observe the input voltage and the output that is measured by the multimeter I'm going to set the power supply at 5 volts turn it on and we can see that the output voltage is 8 volts we have a loss of 2 volts in the parts of the circuit I'm going to raise it to 10 volts and we have 18 volts and we can set any voltage we want and we obtain almost double the voltage minus around 2 volts now I'm going to test the circuit using this LED assembly that I got from an old lamp and let's see that if we connect the LED assembly directly to the 9 volt battery it does not work because the voltage is not enough to make the LED assembly work now I'm going to connect it using our voltage doubler and let's see if now the voltage is enough okay there it is